Justice was served. Uh, there weren't too many people in that courtroom speaking for Leslie, but Leslie wasn't the only victim in this case, as I think I indicated uh, during the course of this trial. But my reaction is one of professional satisfaction that justice was done for this uh, poor woman who spent the last moments of her life struggling to survive from her husband. Ed Mankin called it a travesty. Strong language. He said he was an honorable man. Ed is. Uh, Ed is a very, very good lawyer. He's a very, very, he's not a good lawyer, he's an outstanding lawyer. And he was invested in this case all in. Um, I don't know that, you know, I'm going to judge Ed by his comments after uh, a devastating loss like this, but let's remember that he was intimately involved in selecting those 12 people, and I don't think it's fair to them to refer to this as a travesty. It might be fair to say we disagree with the verdict and something like that, but, uh, you know, I know an awful lot, an awful lot, about uh, Dr. Robert Newlander, and uh, believe me, there's plenty uh, that I know that the jury didn't know, and there's a reason, uh, there's a very good reason why Mr. Mencken didn't call any character witnesses in that case. So I don't overreact to my friend's comments, uh, and I understand uh, the pain that he suffered. Uh, I type a letter prosecutors probably get all the time throughout the country. You know, I looked at it, as I said earlier, the case wasn't on my radar screen. I had been advised by the medical examiner that it was an accidental fall in the shower, and I, I took that to be, uh, to be accurate. And what really sparked the case was the interest of Dr. Mary Jim Bellick, who's the former medical examiner. Uh, she asked to look at the case. She and I discussed it. And really, what began then was a process to try to find someone who would say, um, by the way, uh, forgive me for interrupting, is Melinda there? We're really, you know, uh, it, it, was, it was a process to try to find someone who I respected who would say this was, in fact, an accidental fall in the shower. And, you know, just bad luck for the defendant. Every pathologist we hired uh, said, Good grief, this is, this is a homicide. Bob Newlander is the most honorable person I have ever met. This case has been a travesty from start to finish. It is not finished, that's all I have to say.